Hey YouTube, so whilst I was looking into different ways of transferring files for a project that I'm currently working on, I stumbled across this really interesting program which I thought would be useful to do a quick tutorial and run through for. As you can tell from the title, it's called Send Anywhere and it's made by a company called EST Mob Incorporated over in South Korea. Now the reason I really like this program is because it's very straightforward to use there is no sign up or registration needed and it allows you to send or receive unlimited files of any size and of any file type that you have on your system and most importantly it works cross device so you can actually send and receive files between your computer and your mobile for example now to get started you simply go to their website you enter a name or, or don't if you don't want to and you add files now I'll just simply add this image file and when you hit the send button the program creates a unique six digit code and uh, this code is then the code that you need to give to the other person uh, in order sh to share your file so they would log into the website and they would enter this unique code in order to receive the file that you're trying to share now along with this unique code you get a unique QR code as well as a unique URL copy however they're only valid for 10 minutes and if this is too short to be useful for you you can make it last for 24 hours by installing the program onto your device if you go over to downloads um, there's actually a variety of platforms that send anywhere is available on so on mobile it's available on all the major platforms as well as Amazon Kindle actually and uh, on computer you can get it for Windows, Mac, Linux, even add it to your Outlook and on web you can add it as an extension on Chrome, even plug it on into WordPress. So there is a variety of platforms it can be used on which is great. Now I've got it downloaded on Windows so I'll do a quick run through of it on Windows for you but it very much works the same on all the other platforms. So opening up the application on Windows um, you can actually log in so now I've got no need to log in but you can you can create an account and uh, the benefit of actually signing up and logging in uh, into anywhere uh, into send anywhere is that you could be logged in uh, on a variety of devices that you have send anywhere installed on and uh, by doing so and being logged into all of these different devices so say for example I have a smartphone a tablet and a computer. If I'm logged in to send anywhere on all of those platforms, I actually skip the hassle of having to input a unique key code whenever I want to send uh, files between them. So it just makes the process a lot more streamlined and uh, and a lot quicker. Now, in order to share files for, you know, for up to 24 hours, you simply click on share for 24 hours, and um, you click on the cloud icon and you can simply drag and drop files into the pop-up box so if I drag for example this whole CCleaner portable file and press 24 hour upload the files will be uploaded and you can see them being uploaded here and what happens is I get a unique URL again and this URL you can then share with anyone else that you want and they're able to access this file as many times as they want uh, download it as many times as they want within that 24 hour period. Now according to the developer no files are stored on send anywhere servers for the basic type of file transfer so for the 10 minute expiry transfer um, no files are stored but when you share for 24 hours the files will be uploaded and temporarily be saved on their servers which will which they will then automatically remove after the 24 hour expiry period and that is pretty much it for send anywhere if you have any other sort of alternatives and if there are any other programs you prefer using for f online file transfers please leave them in the comment section below if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and as always feel free to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.